Hey guys, it's Jamie from No Getting Off This Train, and today I am making cinnamon raisin bread in my bread machine. I first bought a bread machine like five or six years ago at the thrift store for only six dollars. If you look online like other stores, I mean they sell for like a hundred dollars. There is no way I was going to spend money on a bread machine that I wasn't even sure I was going to use. So look at the thrift stores if you want a cheap one. But anyway, I've had this thing for that many years and it has lasted. It has done so well for us. And I use it like maybe a couple times a month, if not more. I'll link all the recipes that I have made in the description, but I've made like cinnamon rolls, dinner rolls, breadsticks, jalapeno cheese bread, and now this cinnamon raisin bread. It is good for breakfast, snacks, dessert, you can toast it up with some butter. And the best part is it makes two loaves. So you can make both for yourself. You can take one to a friend. You can even freeze the bread too. Just slice it up first and stick it in the freezer and just get it out whenever you're ready to eat it. Now let me show you how it's made. So we're going to start by adding most of the wet ingredients first. Now you'll need to look at your bread machine's instructions to see what you need to add first. But mine usually tells me to add the liquids first and then the flour and yeast last. Now I will say also that I ran this thing under some hot water first just to get this hot because I keep my bread machine in the garage. So it tends to get kind of cold and I think the yeast works better when this is warm. And this milk was also heated up for about 45 seconds just to make it a little bit warmer. I also have the recipe down below in the description. So if I don't tell you exactly what to put in here, just click on the link and you can print out the recipe yourself. After the milk and eggs, I usually add the butter. This has been softened a little bit in the microwave. It doesn't have to be completely melted, just softened enough that the bread machine can mix it up. And then next I'll add a teaspoon of salt, and then a fourth cup of sugar, and then last I will add the flour and the yeast. So I'm starting with four cups of flour, and when you put this in the bread machine, wait about five minutes and then check it and make sure that you don't need to add any more flour or water to it. Now on the very top, I'll add a teaspoon and a half of yeast. And then at this point, you can add the raisins if you want to. My bread machine's dough function will beep like halfway through to add any mix-ins. So I'm gonna do that in between. I'll add one cup of raisins. You can add the raisins right here at this point. But if you add them now, they might get uh, chopped up a little bit. If you don't mind that, that's totally fine. Now, my bread machine has different functions on here. The dough function, which is what I'm going to use, runs for about 90 minutes. So we will do the dough function. And we'll start it. I'm gonna check back in about five minutes to see if I need to add any more flour or water. So this actually looks really good. What you want is for it to be slightly wet and sticky, but not enough that it actually sticks to your finger. And you don't want it too dry. So this looks perfect. I will be back in about 90 minutes to see how it is. All right, the dough just finished. It looks perfect. So let's get it out and we will roll it out into the bread. So over here, I have a cutting board just, just very lightly floured. So what I'm going to do first is shake the dough out and it looks really good. It's not very sticky at all. So next thing you'll do is just knead it a few times and then you're going to cut this in half because this makes two loaves. So then just cut it nice and evenly. one aside and then we will work on the other one. So next we're just going to roll the one out into a nice long rectangle. It doesn't have to be perfect, it just has to be 
somewhat long and rectangular shaped. Now I'm going to take a tablespoon of butter and then I'm just going to spread it all the way around just so I can put the brown sugar and cinnamon mixture in it. You can make this process a little bit easier by melting the butter first. The dough is actually a little bit warm from being in the bread machine, so it won't take this very long to melt a little. Now once the butter has melted, I've got a mixture of a half cup of packed brown sugar and two teaspoons of cinnamon. So I will mix all this together and then spread half of this on top of this loaf. Then from here, just flatten it out evenly. And then from here, you're going to start either at the top or the bottom, long ways, roll it very carefully up into a loaf shape. This is how it's going to get that a little cinnamon swirl on the inside. Try to pinch the edges together to close it up and then I take the edge and just very slightly tuck it under on both sides and then I will put it into a greased 8 by 4 loaf pan so I'm going to do the same thing with the other half of the loaf we're going to put a towel over top of this and let it rise for about 30 minutes before baking. So I've got the oven preheated to 350. It's been over an hour and they really haven't risen a whole lot, but they definitely will in the oven. I'm going to put them in the oven for 30 minutes and then they should be done. at how perfect these are. I like to give these a little knock and if it sounds pretty hollow and feels pretty firm that means it's done. So I'm gonna wait maybe like 15 minutes or so. I'm gonna transfer this onto a cooling rack and then once it cools more than that maybe another half hour or so I'm going to slice it. Now that the bread has mostly cooled we can now cut each loaf into 12 slices. The easiest way to do this is to cut it right down the middle first and then cut each half into half and then you cut each of these into three slices. That looks so amazing, doesn't it? I just love it. I love the fact that this makes two loaves because it is perfect for like eating for breakfast one night. You can serve it like as a side item with dinner. I bet you you could even make French toast out of the cinnamon bread. In fact, that sounds so good. I might actually try that with some of this loaf. And there you have it. Here is one of the loaves already sliced into 12 slices. So as you can see, these are perfect. They have a nice little swirl to them. What I usually do with this is put the entire loaf into a gallon size freezer bag. I'll stick it in the fridge and it's usually good in the fridge for up to like five days or so. Not like it'll last that long with us, but usually about after five days, you should think about either freezing it or just eating it up. If you want a printable recipe for this cinnamon raisin bread, I've got a link in the description, as well as all the other bread machine recipes that I have for you to try. I also want you to let me know if you like it. If you make it, please leave me a comment and tell me how you liked it, if you made any changes to it. I love hearing from you. Make sure you subscribe to my channel here so you can be notified on when I post my grocery hauls, my recipes, and my meal planning tips. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you later.